Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host Nathan P. Butler. This time we take a look at something that adds to an array of products that did not actually have a US counterpart, but which did exist out there on the market that a lot of fans tried to put in their Star Wars Home Video Library to sort of fill the gap of what was missing from the US. At least US collectors do that. A lot of collectors around the world had real items to put into their collections. Uh, you may recall that we have looked in the past at a UK VHS release of Revenge of the Sith. We saw a Japanese rental VHS version of Revenge of the Sith. And we saw Sith and Gusto, probably my favorite named version of Revenge of the Sith, coming out of Finland. So we know that there were VHS releases of Revenge of the Sith out there on the global market, but the US didn't get one. A lot of times fans will try to hunt down ones that fit best in their collection, whether it's the English language cover here, uh, getting the one from the UK, maybe they're going to get one from Japan that matches some Japanese ones in their collection perhaps, or even other languages like from Finland. However, one we have not seen is one that would be a complement or a counterpart to another item we have seen. In the not so distant past, we looked at this. This was Star Wars La Menace Phantom. This is the Phantom Menace from France. And we pointed out that what makes this particularly interesting, aside from the fact that it's a VHS that is widescreen and dubbed, uh, is the fact that this is CCAM. Remember, it wasn't just NTSC and PAL out there, at least in the VHS kind of era, uh, prior to DVD, where most of that then just became NTSC and PAL. We did have a third option out there, which was CCAM coming out of primarily France. And that's what this was. It was my first CCAM VHS of any kind. Well, it turns out that, yes, like some other parts of Europe, France also got its own release of Revenge of the Sith on VHS in CCAM format and following in the pattern of The Phantom Menace in widescreen in a package that looks more full screen, frankly, uh, and dubbed in French rather than having just French subtitles. This is something that just recently entered my collection thanks to Damien Vavou Castaigne. If I'm saying your name correctly, I bet you I just butchered at least the second two. Uh, but thank you, Damien, for sending this my way from actually over in France. Um, what we're looking at here is that VHS release. There's a black clamshell case here, so no top or bottom or side, obviously. We do have a spine over here. Star Wars 3, uh, the title La Revanche des Sith, I think, des Sith. Okay, so Revenge of the Sith there in French. Notice the art here in that full screen type of format, at least compared to, say, The Phantom Menace, right, where instead of stretching, it's the rectangle with everything sort of bordered inside and your THX information down here on the spine 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment there in English the French episode title Star Wars with the three as on the front in English classic image there THX Lucasfilm and then way down at the bottom you've got your product number down there then on the back French tagline and text with images similar to what we've seen in other regions here. Okay, Down at the bottom, hard to see. I'll put it up there again in a second. Uh, you have cast crew information uh, that is in English, in this case. Lucasfilm, Dolby Surround, the website address, and some other logos. Uh, it does note that it is uh, uh, Dolby Surround uh, in French um, dubbed. It notes the 2.35 or widescreen format and whatnot in the duration. It also has a little note there that it's not for rental. Kind of hard to see there just because of the gold color, the dark gold against that black background and the reflection from the fact that it is a clamshell case, so it does have that cover on it. Then inside, before you even get to the cassette, there is an advertisement in there. So that is for, I guess, Lucasfilm Magazine, or essentially their equivalent, I suppose, of Star Wars Insider. Okay, all in French. And then the cassette itself, kind of interesting. Note there, nothing on the side. And if you look at the label, the label is pretty basic, right? Uh, even the one for uh, Phantom Menace was a little bit less basic because it was at least black with the logo and everything. But here... 20th Century Home Entertainment, Star Wars Episode 3, and then Revenge of the Sith there in French, and then the duration, 137 minutes. Copyright information down at the bottom, of course, 
in French as well. Now, one thing I would note here, in case you are eagle-eyed and spotted it, I doubt it. Uh, he did a pretty good job of getting this cleaned up, though I may still um, clean it up a bit more uh, myself or have it professionally done before I actually stick it with my main collection as opposed to uh, baggied and off to the side. There is a little bit of mold there on the cassette. That is something I haven't really talked about on the show. Um, you do need to be careful if you are dealing with uh, VHS cassettes at this point, or beta, frankly, at this point, uh, because if they do get any mold on them, uh, that mold can, can grow. Uh, it does eventually stop growing depending on conditions, but uh, it has the risk of if you play it in a player, if that gets off inside the player, it can get onto other cassettes, it can mess up the tape itself. So you just have to be kind of careful with that sort of thing if you happen to run across it within a collection. Um, typically, it doesn't necessarily spread much between cassettes, especially if they're in their own cases. But in my case, I'm being extra careful um, just to be safe. I am putting it in a baggie uh, when I'm putting it in storage here. Um, but I actually kind of look forward to taking a new picture at some point, like I did for a saga on home video that has all the different Revenge of the Sith VHSs side by side, because I could only show three last time. Now I'll be able to show four, and one of them will be freaking C-Cam, which is cool. Only the second C-Cam item in my collection, I believe. Uh, so thank you very much to Damien. Yes, there's another, if you're out there looking for a VHS copy of Revenge of the Sith for your collection. And if you want to really kind of spice things up, you can make it C-Cam to go along with any PAL or NTSC that you might have. Because unless you were collecting out of France, for the most part, you're probably not going to have C-Cam in your collection, which is kind of a nice little talking point uh, when you're going through and showing your collection to others. With that, we'll wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching, and may the Force be with the home video viewers.